Yo, what's up? It's me, Mickey. I'm going to be talking about some gaming news from the last two weeks. So if you like this content, please feel free to like and subscribe. In my last video, I talked about Nintendo Switch Online getting Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games. And it's pretty cool, uh, as well as Metro Prime getting remastered. Um, so, yeah, that shadow dropped. So if, if you're interested, go ahead and do that. Get that. Have your fun. Uh, and as I said, though, I talked about my last video, so I'm not going to really talk about it too much here. Um, if you want to hear my unscripted thoughts on that, go ahead and give my last video a watch. So today I'm going to be talking about Tears in the Kingdom, as Nintendo did something a little bit naughty with it. I'm also going to talk about a couple of other things, so I'm going to get into the other things first. And one of the first things I want to talk about is how Gear 6 is now getting the full attention of the... Sorry, I'm talking too fast. Gear 6 is getting the full attention of the developers. And it seems that two of the Coalition's other projects got cancelled, they got canned. Um, it's a little bit unfortunate. But at the very least, if you are a big Gears fan, you have something to look, be excited about, be a little hyped for. So that's coming out at some point, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're going to announce it a little bit later. because My guess is this is like early, early development. Anyway, so another thing is it seems like live service isn't as sustainable as some developers thought. It just kind of sucks because one of the games that got shut down and I'm going to be talking about Rumbleverse, by the way, I actually played it and I enjoyed it a lot, um, but let, let's just kind of talk about what happened. So apparently Rumbleverse and Crossfire X, which I don't really know too much about, is getting shut down and well, it is what it is. They've only been out for a couple months and they, they just have to shut down. Um, but one of the cool things that Rumbleverse is doing is since they're like with Epic and such, they could actually do this, which is giving four refunds. So essentially, if you bought the battle pass or just like anything in the shop, you, you just go ahead and talk about it. You get your re four refunds and that's really awesome. And right now they're doing double XP. The battle pass is free. Um, you're getting a lot of free extra cosmetics. And yeah, so now you can't even pay money. So go ahead and get that refunds if you spent any money on Rumbleverse. All right. And uh, the next thing I want to talk about is a little sad, a little bit sad as well. It seems like the DualSense Edge, which is Sony's $200 PS5 controller, has a substantially smaller battery, hence way less battery life. So that's something that you would kind of hope to not really be the thing, considering it's a premium controller with such advanced features. But uh, just letting you know, so if you're thinking about buying one, buyer be well, buyer beware. Um, there's a lot of stuff like that was like, oof. Like, I don't know, Sony, Sony's done some silly things like that in the past, so I'm not really too surprised, but not just unfortunate. Um, another thing is apparently Nintendo and Sony will not be at E3, but considering how the landscape has changed over the last few years, um, considering how E3 was been online and the last in-person E3 was in 2019, this kind of makes sense. Um, you know, these companies kind of realize that it's more cost effective and more cost efficient to just do their own sort of thing, like a direct or their own little event. Um, but yeah. So if you're thinking about going to E3 this year, keep that in mind. So some of the games that you want to try out may not be there and such. It, it, you know, it, it's a thing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so another thing that I want to talk about is, again, another bummer. And apparently Jedi Survivor, which is the sequel to the beloved game Jedi The Fallen Order, has been delayed. Overall, though, I'm kind of glad that this is happening. It's kind of... You know, there's like a light at the end of the tunnel because this just means that the game's going to get more polish and if they need that, they deserve the time, which means there's going to be less crunch, which should be a better game overall. So I cannot wait for it to release. And uh, yeah, that's that's awesome. I hope you're as excited as I am for that game to come out. And so let's move on and talk about Redfall here, which is an upcoming game made by Arcane Studios. And it seems that in the game, here they require you to have a persistent online connection to the servers for a single player game, which is wild. Um, I'm probably going to go more in depth in this in the future. Um, you know, just the practice of having online for single player experiences. Uh, I might make that its own separate video. In the, in the, just, you know, in the new future, just letting you know. So if you're thinking about getting the game and you're in it, it's a little bit spotty, just keep that in mind. And one last thing before the big story uh, about Tears of the Kingdom is it seems like Nintendo is not going to price drop the Switch at all, which isn't really a surprise. Nintendo really never price drops anything. They either stay the same or they price hike, which speaking of price hiking, let's move on to the Tears of the Kingdom, which was the big naughty thing that Nintendo did. Essentially, it's been noted that it was $70 on websites and stuff, and we didn't know if that was like a mistake or not. But it seems like Nintendo... I actually did not make a mistake, and this is the first game that they were pricing at 
uh, for this generation. And according to, according to Nintendo, they say, we determine the suggested real to retail price for any Nintendo product on a case-by-case -case basis, which is just crazy. Uh, we kind of assume Nintendo would do the $70 price tag on the next generation, but Nintendo knows they could really kind of get away with it since it's the Breath of the Wild sequel. And you know what? I, yeah, yeah, I think they're right, because I'm probably going to buy the game, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but uh, I guess we'll see if it's worth the $70 when it, you know, releases. Uh, but yeah, if you watch this far, uh, then tell me what your thoughts are on the $70 price tag. Tell me what you think about this video. Uh, tell me everything in the comments. Please leave feedback and stuff. It would absolutely mean, like, the world to me. I'm just kind of, like, starting out this whole, this whole, like, video thing. I, I, I think I got my shorts down and and i'm good with that you know my twitch clips everything I, I got that set it's just doing these videos is a little hard i have to get into like a sort of mode like right now i feel like i'm being a little bit energetic but i feel like i kind of have to because you know so this is me though don't worry i've I, I, not I, 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 I faking it but it's just I, I'm, I'm just a little youtube acting <laughs> but yeah don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed and uh well, i can't speak english see ya